Hey guys, it's Rubboy here. Just going to be a short little video explaining how to locally develop with a code base of MS Paint IDE. Now, right now I'm just in a fresh VM. The only thing I have is IntelliJ, the Java 12 JDK, and the Java 13 JDK with J package, and Inno Setup 6. And all the links for all of these things, including the repo and the wiki, which is everything I'm about to do, is just going to be in the description. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is clone the repo. You can just grab the clone URL here. And through IntelliJ, you can just go through like that. So you're going to be doing it to my desktop. And then, yes, you want to import it as a Gradle project if your ID asks you. And after a couple seconds, you're going to get an error about it can't find Java, well, JDK 12 or 13 right here. So the way we're going to fix that is just minimizing that and going to the area that we cloned it to and then run setup.bat. Now this is basically to tell Gradle where the Java 12 JDK is and where the 13 JDK is, so it knows when to use them. So it just can ask for the root path of your uh, 12 JDK, and mine's just right here. And then it's going to ask for the root path of your 13 JDK. Now you don't need this, it's only required if you want to create an installer with JPackage, and if you don't have it, just type in skip, or you can type in the link and then it'll download it for you, and then just download the installer. But mine is just right here, so I'm just going to paste that in. And then that's it for this, so we can click any key to exit. Then go back to our IDE and then refresh, re-import, whatever your IDE has you do to do that stuff. And then after a couple minutes, it should be successful. And there we go. And if we want to run the IDE from source, once finished syntaxing, we can just run the task Gradle run. It's going to be compiling the antler files, which is for highlighting, and then the SCSS, and then the actual Java files. All right, and there we go. And you may get a message about you can't find LSPs for a bunch of language, and then you, if you can't find any, then you'll see a pop-up asking you to install one. The easiest one is just Java, because for the others currently, Python, Go, and JavaScript, you need another runtime to actually install the um, installer, and the Java is just a standalone one, so that's just the easiest. Now, if you want to create the installer that just runs it from sources, the installer is just Gradle create, if I can spell, create installer. And it's already cached, so this is going to take a little bit shorter for this part, but it's just going to create the jar, and then with JLink, it's going to basically create its own our Java runtime that it can use. And then it's just copying all the dependencies here. Yep, with JLink, it's making its own JDK while runtime. And now with Inno Setup, it's just copying all of the required files and all the libraries that MS Paint IDE uses into its own actual installer that you can install natively. So I'm just going to fast forward this because with the VM, it's pretty slow. And there you go. Once it's done, it's going to tell you where the installation file is. So that's just in the package module in the build, and then it's going to be right there. So you can just go package build, and it's right here for us. You can show that in Explorer. Then if you run this, it's just going to ask you for administrator permissions to actually install it. And then it's just like a regular install it here. And that's pretty much it. More info will be in the description. Check the wiki if you want to learn how to do anything with the ID, and more videos will be coming soon. Bye.